A company offering to cryonically freeze and maintain your dead body is looking to open its first facility in Australia. I assume we're freezing these bodies to eat them later, yeah? Yeah? Yeah. The history of freezing man began in the Ice Age when freezing men froze to death in ice. After that, not a whole lot happened, freezily speaking, for the next 14,000 years until the invention of the freezer. Since then, we've been freezing everything from water to flavoured water to those things that keep our flavoured water cold. Of course, the biggest advancement in cryonics came with the invention of the chock top and its ability to stay frozen until the end of the trailers. The biggest advancement, that is, until now, when... Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry, I've just been told the Choctop is still the closest we've come to successful cryonics. But one day in the future, we'll be able to bring back the people we love. People like Gramps. And until then, we can just use Gramps as an ice cube. Because nothing chills a glass of whiskey quite like a frozen old guy who died from drinking too much whiskey. Still, if I understand their website correctly, the technology is possible because nematode worms have been cryopreserved and subsequently revived. Ah, the nematode worm, man's closest genetic match. From there, though, the technology does get a little theoretical, but if it's anything like defrosting a chicken, they'll just whack them in a giant microwave for 20 minutes, forget about them, and then have to chop off all the gross cooked bits. From there, though, these reanimated people, or leftovers, will go on to live happy, fulfilled lives with no friends, family, housing or money, existing in a state of perpetual fear of their new robot overlords and lacking the requisite third arm that future man has evolved. Still, when it comes to cryonics, a lot of people are throwing around words like science fiction, and impossible, and seriously, it's not possible. But not everyone's a naysayer, and we'd like to cross to Mark Humphreys now, who had himself frozen last week and thought out just today to prove a point. Mark, how are things going? Yeah, look at him go, filled with the same vim and vigour as when he was alive last week. And now, keep up the great work, mate. Well, thanks for watching The Roast, and Gramps, looks like I'll be seeing you real soon. How does it work? Do they unfreeze him and then unburn him? Is that it?